hello students so this is our second video on the topic application of definite integral the application which we are going to study today is surface area of revolution so basically what this topic about is let's say we are given a curve y is equals to fx hum ek curve de rakhi hai and this is our coordinate system x axis y axis and a curve is given to us y is equals to fx hum ek curve given hai question mein and we need to revolve that curve either about x axis or about y axis it can be also about any axis but for now our focus is main on either either on x axis or y axis hum kya karne wale hain is curve ko revolve karenge ya to x axis ke around ya fir y axis ke around for example jaise maan ke chalo hum ye curve de rakhi i just took a random curve aur mujhe kya karna hai is curve ko रिवॉल्व करवाना है या तो वो एक्स एक्सिस के अराउंड हो सकता है कि हम इस कर्व को रिवॉल्व करेंगे और वी कैन रिवॉल्व दिस कर्व अराउंड वाई एक्सिस या फिर हमें किसके अराउंड इसे रिवॉल्व करवाना है वाई एक्सिस के अराउंड वैन यू आर गोइंग टू रिवॉल्व दिस कर्व अ न्यू सॉलिड विल बी फॉर्म्ड एंड द टास्क इज टू फाइंड आउट एरिया ऑफ दैट सॉलिड फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल लेट से We have a square. हमें हमारे पास क्या है स्क्वायर है और इट कैन बी रेक्टेंगल ठीक है इट से दिस इज द कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम एक्स एक्सेस वाई एक्सेस एंड यू हैव अ स्क्वायर लेट से समथिंग लाइक दिस और रेक्टेंगल इट कैन बी इट कैन बी एनी शेप स्क्वायर या रेक्टेंगल टाइप की हमारे पास क्या एक जोमेट्रिकल फिगर है नाउ यू हैव टू स्टार्ट रिवॉल्विंग दिस कर्व अराउंड वाई एक्सिस आप इसको इसके अराउंड घुमाना स्टार्ट कर दो जस्ट स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग दिस कर्व रिवॉल्विंग दिस कर्व अराउंड वाई एक्सिस सो इवेंचुअली यू विल सी अ न्यू शेप विल बी फॉर्म्ड अ न्यू सॉलिड विल बी फॉर्म्ड कैन यू गेस वर्ड दैट विल बी इफ यू आर गोइंग टू रिवॉल्व दिस स्क्वायर और टेंगल अराउंड वाई एक्सिस वट इट विल बी द शेप विल लुक लाइक अ सिलेंडर and the task is to find out area of that cylinder. जब आप इस स्क्वायर को रिवॉल्व करोगे y axis के अराउंड तो आपके पास कौन सी शेप होगी यू आर गोइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस द शेप सिलेंडर एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेफिनेट इंटेग्रल में आज हमने क्या सीखना है कि वो जो न्यू शेप बनी है उसका एरिया हम कैसे कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं ओके एंड आई कैन ऑल्सो शेयर अ सेपरेट वीडियो इन विच आई कैन जस्ट शो यू इन three dimension that how the shapes are going to be formed when we revolve the given curve i can't show you here on this paper i will share a separate video in which you can see how different solids are formed when we start revolving the curves around x axis y axis or any other axis but in this video we will just focus on the numerical part again like the previous topic length of curve we will have a list of formulas which can be use depending upon the type of equation curve or the type of equation of the curve given the first one is cartesian form and the equation is given in the form of y is equals to fx and we have to revolve this curve about x axis हमें कौन सी इक्वेशन दे रखी है कार्टेजियन फॉर्म में वाई इज इक्वल्स टू एफ एक्स और हम क्या कर रहे हैं इसको रिवॉल्व कर रहे हैं अबाउट एक्स एक्सिस बिटवीन द पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी सो द सरफेस एरिया ऑफ दैट न्यू सॉलिड फॉर्म इज गिवन बाय ए टू बी टू पाई वाई डी एस वेयर दिस डी एस इज गिवन बाय वन प्लस डी वाई बाई डी एक्स होल स्केयर अंडर दिस केयर रोट डी एक्स सिमिलरली इफ द रेवोल्यूशन is going to be about y axis then we have the formulation a to b 2 pi x ds again the ds is given by 1 plus dx upon dy square under this square root dy third for the parametric form x is equals to f of t y is equals to g of t where t lies between the point a and b if the revolution is around x axis then we are going to use the first type if the revolution is about y axis we will use the second type and last for the polar form r is equals to f of theta theta lies between alpha and beta there are going to be now 
two stages one is x axis now x axis can be considered as theta is equals to 0 and y axis can be considered as theta is equals to pi by 2 because for coordinate system this is x axis and y axis then this x axis is considered as baseline theta is equals to 0 and for y axis we consider it as for the angle 90 degree theta is equals to pi by 2 and the formula is given here s is equals to integral alpha to beta 2 pi y ds where ds is given by r square plus dr by d theta whole square under the square root d theta similarly if the revolution is about theta is equals to pi by 2 then we use the second formulation so these are the all formulas which you need to remember and whatever in the problem they are going to ask us we will apply the formula accordingly let's look at the first example find the find the surface area of revolution of the loop of curve 9a y square is equals to x 3a minus x whole square about x axis अब हमें ये कर्व दे रखी है इसकी लूप का हमने क्या कैलकुलेट करना है सरफेस एरिया ऑफ रेवोल्यूशन कैलकुलेट करना है और रेवोल्यूशन किसके अराउंड है एक्स एक्सिस के अराउंड सो द गिवन कर्व इज 9a y स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू x 3a minus x होल स्क्वायर दिस इज द गिवन कर्व टू अस एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ दिस कर्व दिस इज हाउ दिस कर्व विल लुक लाइक x एक्सिस दिस इज द y एक्सिस and the point is 0 0 and this point is 3a comma 0 and we have to revolve this loop of curve means we have to just revolve this part only the closed path the loop around x axis when we will start revolving this loop a new shape a new solid will be formed and we have to find out that area between the region 0 2 3 a limits kya hamari 0 2 3 so the formula is given by surface area of revolution is 0 to 3a integral 2 pi y ds where ds is given by this value. Now first I will calculate dy by dx. Well, I am dy by dx calculate kar lete. Then we will calculate its square and all the other terms. Simplify and then we will put all the values last in the formula. So this is the given curve 9a y square is equals to x 3a minus x square. यहाँ से y की value calculate करते हैं पहले तो because it's much easier than to calculate x ना. See this is the Cartesian form. We have two alternatives. Either you can calculate for y or you can calculate for x. And by looking at the equation we can see we can calculate for value for y easily. So from here shift this 9a to right side and taking the square root y square is equal to this taking square root we get y is equal to this separate the square root for all the terms so it will be root x here this square will get cancelled out with the square root and in denominator 9a will be reduced to 3 root a multiply this root x inside so we get 1 by root 3a 3a root x minus x raised to power 3 by 2 now this is a simplified version now i can do the differentiation so dy by dx is given by derivative karte constant outside as it is 1 by 3 uh, root a then 3a derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x and derivative of x raised to power 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 square root of x i can take 3 by 2 common so i took it outside and inside i will take the lcm yahan pe lcm liya ye form ban gayi abhi next formula mein mein kya chahiye square karna hai so i will do the squaring so i got 1 by 4ax and a minus x whole square now i will put this value in the equation of ds or you can put it directly in the form of s so s we have put here 0 to 3a the formula was formula kya hota hai the formula was s is equals to 0 to 3a 2 pi y ds and subsequently i will put all the values here 2 pi this is the value of y this one ye y ki value put kar di और ये हमारे पास यहां पे क्या होता है ds ds की वैल्यू क्या होती है स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 1 plus dy by dx का स्क्वायर वो वैल्यू यहां पे रख दी है नाउ हियर आई कैन टेक द एलसीएम 4x को इधर 1 के साथ मल्टीप्लाई कर दो यू गेट दिस पर्सन एंड हियर यू कैन टेक दिस 2π कांस्टेंट आउटसाइड द इंटीग्रल दिस 3√a इज आल्सो कांस्टेंट यू कैन टेक इट आउटसाइड द इंटीग्रल एंड हियर यू विल सी व्हाट यू विल गेट हियर a² x² 4ax minus 2ax so this give you a square plus 2ax plus x square ऐसे ही बने है ना ये a square और x square 4 minus 2 gives you 2ax and this is the formula for a plus x whole square 
now this square and this square root will get cancel out and in denominator you will get 2 root a root x so i just wrote it here now this root x is getting cancel out again this 2 root a can be taken outside so we get this 2 and this 2 cancelling pi upon 3 root a into root a ye wala root a aur ek ye wala they will become a that is pi upon 3 integral 0 to 3a 3a minus x and a plus x dx open the bracket multiply kar do bracket ki terms ko you will get this part now you can indicate it easily 3a square is constant so integration is 3a square x 2a constant integration of x is x square by 2 and integration of x square is x cube by 3 integration done upper limit minus lower limit put the value simplify and that's your answer got it so let's have a look at one more example then you can have much clarity about the things that how to solve the problem now find the area of surface of revolution found by revolving the curve r is equals to 2a cos theta about the initial line hame ek curve de rakhi hai and this form is if you recall this is polar form yahan pe hame kaun si form de rakhi hai polar form de rakhi hai hame and this is the equation of a circle with center at 0 0 and radius is equals to a ye circle ki jo hamare paas ye wali equation nahi hoti hai cartesian form mein agar baat kare x square plus y square is equals to a square this is the equation of circle with center 0 0 and radius equals to a if we reduce this form into polar form so this is the equation r is equals to 2a cos theta initial line means theta is equals to 0 x axis ki baat ho rahi hai so this is the circle we have to revolve this about this x axis initial line theta is equals to 0 for the polar form we will apply the concerned formula s is equals to 0 to pi by 2 2 pi y ds where y is equals to r sin theta how we get this in polar form if you recall x is equals to r cos theta y is equals to r sin theta i told you earlier as well if you want the complete information about these metrical terms that we use here we can have a separate video now y is equals to r sin theta and ds is given by root of r square plus dr by d theta whole square d theta now let's calculate the values for ds first so i need to calculate dr by d theta r is 2a cos theta do the derivative minus 2a sin theta do the squaring it's 4a square sin square theta so ds is r square means r square 4a square cos square theta and derivative was 4a square sin square theta from here if i take 4a square common and i take it outside so this will be 2a then inside cos square theta plus sin square theta and this term is 1 so it's simply ds is equals to 2a d theta now from the equation number 2 s is 0 to pi by 2 2 pi y y means r sin theta ds is 2a this 2a can be written like just simplify uh, reorder the terms 2 pi 0 to pi by 2 2a cos theta sin theta 2a d theta यहां पे क्या करा है हमने r की वैल्यू को पुट करा है दिस r इज 2a cos theta यहां पे पुट कर दिया नाउ टेकिंग दिस टू आउटसाइड दिस विल बिकम 4 दिस a एंड 1 इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट हियर सो दिस विल बिकम 4a स्क्वायर पाई 0 टू पाई बाय 2 2 sin theta cos theta trigonometric identity 2 sin theta cos theta इज sin 2 theta and integration of sin 2 theta will be minus cos 2 theta by 2 substituting the limits upper limit minus four lower limit simplify the terms you get the desired answer so the area of revolution is given by 4a square into pi so this is all about how we solve the problems in which we need to calculate surface area of revolution this is the practice set for this topic you can give them a try and let me know if you find difficulty in any problem three problems are here two more problems are for this topic number four and number five done so thank you